Yesterday, I had posted a video about how I was up 100% on a DWAC play, a.k.a. I bought into a stock. I bought 25 of them. Boom, hit the home run, knocked it out of the park. But I've been talking about this one on the channel for a long time, and I want you to understand that these types of things are called momentum plays. There's multiple types of trades. There's swing trades where you hold it overnight. There's momentum plays where you see it running up, you jump on the wave, and before it loses that momentum, you jump off and make money. This is what I see DWAC as. And then there's another kind of play where you just buy it and hold it long term. That's how I look at Apple. That's how I look at the Fortune 500 companies. But we don't got to get into none of the jargon. I got a funny comment, which I'm not going to highlight it. But my guy said, Keenan, I hope that you got out of DWAC because, oh, man, it's starting to come down. So I go and I look. Oh, yeah, it's coming down. It's down 27% in one day. Oh, man. Dang. If only I would have known to have some risk management and jump on out of this. Oh wait, I did. I had a stop loss at 41 and when we look at it today, it's all the way down to 36 at the time of this recording. Do I think DWAC is over in terms of being a play? Not necessarily. And I'm gonna show you what we call the trident. Like I said, with the old school gum as you've been requesting it, where I show you where I will wait, where I will buy it to attempt to play it again, and then where I will put a stop loss at this time around to play it again. Now, before I even show you that, I wanna just say this. Go ahead and join KG Stock Market University for the gifted so you can get the alerts, so you could see when we are killing it like this and we get into a play and then we get stopped out way above where it is right now, I'm telling you this down to the minute. I'm gonna put the link for that in the very top of the description. However, right here on YouTube, if you subscribe to the channel, hit the like button to show love, but definitely subscribe. I will tell you these plays before they happen, even on YouTube for free. The only thing I say on KGU is if you get over there, I could teach you how to do it from the ground up, step by step, in a way that I can't do it here on YouTube. So I want you to just see some family, and not even just that. I want you to look at this, because the reason DWAC is pumping up is because what's going on with the Republican presidential candidate, Nikki Haley, when you go and you look, and she's saying some stuff that some people are finding a little odd, a little suspicious, and it says that Haley says that 65 is way too low for retirement age and she's running for president and she's on the news saying things like this. That is not a popular thing to say. And I want you to just hear it out of the horse's mouth. The third rail that nobody wants to touch is the entitlement, Social Security, Medicare. How would you manage the entitlements to try to start getting our arms around soaring debt? Well, you know, you've got multiple candidates on that stage that said they wouldn't touch entitlements, including Trump. And any candidate that says they're not going to touch entitlements means that they're basically going to go into the uh, go into office and then leave America bankrupt. Social Security is going to mm -hmm. go bankrupt in 10 years. Medicare is going to go bankrupt in eight. So the way we deal with it is we don't touch anyone's retirement or anyone who's been promised in. But we go to people like my kids in their 20s when they're coming into the system and we say the rules have changed. We change retirement age to reflect life expectancy. Instead of cost of living increases, we do it based on inflation. We limit the benefits the on the wealthy and we expand Medicare Advantage plans. What's the right age there then, Ambassador? Well, I think we have to do the numbers. We've got to figure out what it is. But what we do know is 65 is way too low and we need to increase that. We need to do it according to life expectancy. Family, they're saying that 65 is way too low. This is the person who's Thank running you, against everybody. Trump. Thank you. Whoa. Hold up. This is the person who's running against Trump. She's running against Trump for a presidential spot. Do you think the younger voters or even people who are, I don't know, man, that's just not a popular stance to have. You let me know if you feel like that's a misstep on her part. If you don't, you don't. But a lot of people are saying that it is, and they're saying that it's not a good thing to try to say can happen if you're going to vote for her or Trump. I'm not saying who you should vote for. To be honest with you, you vote for whoever you want. You could love her, you could hate her, you could love Trump, you could hate Trump, it is what it is, right? But what I'm saying is we are interested in what's going on here because this is telling us specifically that plays like DWAC still have potential to gain momentum again. It doesn't mean that it will, but it means that it can. And if it can, we gotta think about the psychology like I've been telling you. Hey, what are people gonna do? If Donald Trump keeps getting further and further along in this presidential space, you seen what happened when the Florida governor dropped out, DWAC ran up, right? We seen what happened when Donald Trump won a material win in Iowa. Oh, DWAC ran up. Now, if he gets to a position where Nikki Haley, she realizes she just can't win this one, and now DWAC has the chance again, like it did twice before, 
to pump up before it comes crashing back down. This is not a long-term play in my understanding of just how these things work. I've been doing this for years now. Many of you have as well. They move in cycles. You get on a wave, you try to get back on the wave and see if you can make some more money on it. So without further ado, let's look at the Trident method again. Like the old school gum where it's red where I would wait, green where I would buy it, and then red where I'll put a stop loss because under the bottom one, which is the most important part, that's where I would let it go. So let's look at this on Weeble this time. And let's see, at the very top, and it might be hard for you to see, right? Because I've been really running this because it's more large scale. But I'll tell you right now, pay attention. If you're not paying attention, write this down or whatever, play this part back. I would wait and the weight range is at the very top and it's very large. I know you can't see it, but I have my notes right here in blue, highlighted in blue just for you, AKA I'm just playing, I highlighted in blue for me so I can see. So now I will wait between $38. Again, hold up. I'm not telling you to buy, hold or sell, but I would wait between $38 and then I will buy it between, or actually I will wait between 38 and $62, right? You got that? I would buy it between 35 and 37 in that small little window. I would prefer to buy it at 35. However, because that's the lower end of the buy range. However, understand me, if it fell to $33, I gotta use my stop loss and I gotta let it go because just like Mara before it, just like Riot before it, just like all of these other hype stocks or momentum stocks before it, that's where it will fall down and crash down according to the technicals. So. Me personally, remember, I want you to do your own research family, but I've been really making a lot of money on these and I'm showing you time and time again. This is how I'm looking at it. I'd rather miss out on a play than to get in at the wrong time and then just be stuck and begin smoked. So between 38 and 62, that large range, that's when I will wait. I would just wait. Between 35 and 37, that's where I will buy in a small range, preferably at the 35, but I might get my toe wet, put some skin in the game at 37. And then if it hit 33, I'm taking a loss and I'm letting it go, right? I got to say, yeah, that's it. That's the only, I'm not going down with the ship on this one. I got to have that risk management. Understand that you need to know how to do a stop loss. When this video is over, you're going to see a video pop up and it's going to show you how to do a stop loss. So with all of that being said, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Go ahead and get some free stocks from Moomoo and get up to 8.1% interest on your uninvested cash. The link is in the description so you can have access to the information that I have that is helping me to make these videos, make money on the market and really kill it and learn how to do a trail and stop loss. Again, you should see that video popping up anywhere like right now, somewhere like either here or here. It's going to say trail and stop loss. The only thing you need to see, blah, blah, blah. Click that so you can learn how to do it and stop going down with the ship on these plays. These are just momentum plays. One day it's going to be DWAC. And then it's not, it's going to be something else again, right? So just make sure that you understand that so you can make money on the waves rather than getting left under them. So I love you. I appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Hit the subscribe and I'll see you on KGU. If you really need help step-by-step, step, that's where you do it at. I got you. Take care.